Wow! Nothing will be the same again. This is AI's Quantum Leap. Hello people, uh, a relatively short video here, but this is, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's insane how fast this is moving. In 1936, Walter Benjamin wrote an essay called The Work of Art in the Age of Mechanical Reproduction. And it looked at the sort of, the, the massive developments in technology driven by war, which has always driven technology, and uh, how that was going to affect uh, the work of art, you know, things like photography and uh, um, duplication, uh, cameras, uh, video cameras, cinema, etc., etc., etc. And now we are looking at the work of art in the age of artificial intelligence. And it was only a few months ago I said there'll soon be speech to video where you'll just sit in front of a computer and say, OK, the location is Trafalgar Square, London, in 1968. Bosh, that'll come up. And then you'll be able to make some changes. I'll make it um, 5 o'clock in the evening, just as the sun's coming down. Uh, it's, it's in April, so that'll all be changed. Uh, put a few more people there. Yeah, a bit busier. And these changes will be made as you speak it. And then you bring in your protagonist and you direct a feature film like that. So there's no crew, there's no cameras, there's no, there's no kit at all. There's a writer, you still need someone to write a story, but that could be the person making the uh, film. Now, we're not quite there yet, but um, as you know, we've had text to voice many youtube channels using it loads of adverts using it so 11 labs is probably the most famous at the moment although there are other ones that do it better they're just not as well known they haven't marketed themselves so well here's a really quick example of 11 labs that took me the time to type this and press generate but i've been keeping an eye on this uh Twitter account, X account, apologies, Eduardo Borges. And uh, you can follow him at D-U-B-O-R-G-E-S. And I, I suggest you do because he's right at the cutting edge of artificial intelligence. Anyway, I won't uh, bore you anymore with my uh, mildly warm take on it. Let's have a look at some of his videos now remember these are text to videos so he's just typed in there's not code he's just typed in what he wants to see all right there might be some little nasty editing here because uh i've got a real job um but feel free you can make donations in the comments now how exciting <laughs> i mean try it out i mean that that that's good for you <laughs> here we go um, right, there'll be an edit now, and we'll have a look at some of the some of the better ones. Hang on. Okay, so the prompt for this one is a bicycle race on ocean with different animals as athletes riding the bicycles with drone camera view. Check it out. <laughs> one sentence. They're only short. But look at that one sentence prompt. It's ridiculous. Uh, okay, we we'll move on. Moving on. This one is an instructional cooking session for homemade gnocchi, hosted by a grandmother social media influencer, set in a rustic Tuscan country kitchen with cinematic lighting. There she is, there's your old grandmother, stirring up the cocaine. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous. One line. One line that your six-year-old child could have written. Look at it. 
you could make a movie out of that. All right, another. Now, there's no prompt for this one. I think he got bored with sharing those, but just look at this. It's some kind of coastal scene. Ready? I'll set it off. Look at it. This kind of stuff was the... You know, you needed to be Pixar to do this a few years ago. Well, a year ago. Look at that. And he would have written something like waves crashing into a rugged coast somewhere in Europe. I don't know. Look at that. Amazing. Couple more. On his Twitter timeline, he said, I'm just posting all the videos I'm making now. And there was a matter of minutes between each one. I mean, yes, the birdies flying backwards. But to be able, for, for the likes of you and I to be able to make this on our, you know, 500 pound Dell laptops is just remarkable right couple more it's a shame this one is in the horizontal but not for people who make tiktok or youtube shorts it's not strangely my favorite this one again there's he doesn't tell you the prompts for these but check this out look at it the prompt would have been something like uh i don't know a drone view over a future world or going through a future world 10 minutes work I'll zoom it in a bit so you can have a look at a bit of the, the bit more of the detail I mean look at the the reflective surface on that sort of road part in the middle Yep, another another one. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, what are Hollywood going to do now? You know, they've 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 drawn they've <laughs> they've made their the content so bad that now they've lost the monopoly on production. Well, um, interesting times ahead. I mean, it was only. You know, 20 years ago, this would have blown people's minds. And this is a couple of minutes on a laptop now. <laughs> I really like this one because it already conjures up story for me. There's enough elements in it. Look at the water on the floor. The, the remains of the rain and a character. And, you know, you've got... You've got um, you've got a sense of place. You've got character, and there's mood. There's absolutely mood there. Anything can happen. Mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. Cut to close up. Reflection in the glasses is absurd, man. Jeez. Within, within six months, one year, you're not going to know the difference between an AI-generated movie and uh, one generated with actors and cameras. Right, one more. Yeah, I'll check this out. No more DOPs required. Look at the old frontiers. <laughs> when I say old, I mean end of history, hyper real, brand spanking new old. Look at that. Look at that camera swing. Go on, get that crane up there. We'll have that pivot round. We need some kind of motion control. Nah, mate. You need a Chromebook. $300. <laughs> okay. Right. There's loads more on his Twitter account. Go and check them out. Just to confirm. So um, this isn't a waste of time. At D-U-B.
B O R G E S. Let me know in the comments what you think about the work of art in the age of artificial intelligence because it's all about to go effing crazy. Ta da! I don't know if I'm saying goodbye to you or to what I previously considered reality <laughs> or what I previously considered hyper reality. We're in, a th we're in a fourth order simulation. It's yet to be named. Feel free to give me a suggestion as for that. The simulacrum has eaten itself. Sweet. Sweet.